you may enter the field. You have four minutes until Woo! final call. Frontier Woo! High School on Bakersfield. And Frontier, we're going to have a bunch of grand messages just for you here in just a moment after the next warning. Frontier High School, you have three minutes until final call. Now we have a number of aerograms for you to Mackenzie Dominguez. Great job. We are proud of you. Tia, I love you. From Elena and Grandma to Tyson Neighbors. Looking good. Sounds fantastic. From Mama. To the entire band, go Titans, make us proud. Your fan club, hey, that's pretty good. To Logan Spark, Frontier High School, happy 17th birthday. And we love you from mom and dad. Go Logan! To Desi. Go Calissa! Love your bestie, Catherine. To Faith Campbell, we are proud of you from your parental units. To Savannah, we love you and are very proud of you. Go Titans, Big Blue! From Nicole and Tony Sanchez. And to Ava Pine, congratulations on your senior year performance. We are very proud of you from Mom and Dad. Yes, you rock. Frontier High School, you have one minute until final call. Now on the field, from Bakersfield, the Marching Titans Marching Band from Frontier High School. To the drum major, Cole Wells, is your band ready? Presenting their 2021 program entitled Belated Honor, the California State Band Championships and the Silver Marching Band Festival are proud to present the Marching Titans of Frontier High School. Article 1 2. The U.S. Army Air Corps did not accept African American pilots at all, separate and very unequal. However, in 1940, President Roosevelt ordered the Army Air Corps to build a unit for African American pilots at the Tuskegee Institute in Alabama. These pilots later became known as the 99th Fighter Squadron or the Tuskegee Airmen.
men of the 99th had to overcome discrimination in the South so that they could fight an enemy overseas. Many saw this as fighting two wars at once. One for the acceptance and respect they longed for in their own country and the other against Nazism in Europe. the men of the 99th got their opportunity to fight, they did so with brilliance and accuracy. After joining with three other black units, the group painted the tails and propellers of their planes red. Though the combined unit's official title was the 332nd Fighter Group, as their reputation grew for being some of the finest pilots in the air, they became known as simply the Red Tails. speaks for itself. At a time when the Allied forces were losing up to 65 bombers a day, the Red Tails flew over 15,000 combat missions and never lost a single bomber they escorted into battle. Not even one. With the help of the Red Tails, the Allied forces claimed victory on September 2nd, 1945.
On July 26, 1948, President Truman issued Executive Order 9981, desegregating the armed forces. This tribute to the Tuskegee Airmen is more than 75 years overdue. The Marching Titans say thank you and go Red Tails.